interoceptive training. Welcome to this guided practice, which is made especially in order to enhance our so-called interoception, our ability to feel smarter, to feel better what is going on inside of us. Not only does this type of training lead to a so-called greater emotional intelligence, it also leads to the ability to make much more smarter decisions. Because when we make decisions, not only from our mind, but actually from the deeper layers of our being, they tend and they actually are, science affirms this, much more aligned with our truth. So let's dive right into it. In this interoceptive training, we're going to use a technique called felt sensing. So I invite you to find a comfortable position, maybe leaning back against a couple of pillows. And you can take a deep breath, extending the exhalation. And as you breathe out, closing the eyes. And now with our eyes closed, let's start with becoming aware of the breath. Maybe first just becoming aware of if the belly is moving in and out as we breathe. Try not to change anything, just bringing that initial awareness. How are we breathing right now? Can we actually feel how we're breathing right now? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Don't worry about this. This practice that we're doing is already increasing and enhancing the ability to feel. So let's guide the breath a few times, bringing ourselves more and more inside. Let's inhale and imagine our breath going all the way down into the tips of our toes. Letting the breath gently caress the tips of the toes before we exhale all the way up and out again. Beautiful. And now let's do the same, but for the tips of our fingers, inhaling deeply, imagining that breath is going all the way down into the tips of our fingers, caressing them with the breath and we exhale up and out. And now let's, with the third and final practice breath, imagine that we're trying to touch the fingers and the toes at the same time and see if you can hold all of these, all of our toes and all of the fingers inside your awareness. As we breathe in, breathing into the toes and the fingers simultaneously. And as we exhale, letting the breath go up and out. And now I would like to invite you to tune into the body and see if there's any area in the body that feels sore or stiff or maybe even painful right now. And this is actually a question that you can just ask your body if it's very hard to feel anything. Just ask the body, is there any area right now that you want to show me? Maybe you feel your attention drawn towards a slight ache in the knee. Or maybe you feel your attention drawn to the belly. Trusting that whatever comes into your awareness first is what wants to be felt right now, the so-called felt sensing. So I invite you to allow your awareness to rest there. Let's take the example of the belly. 
So maybe we're feeling a slight ache in the belly. Our awareness is resting there. And from here, we are going to get curious. How does this ache or this contraction or this stiffness feel right now inside your body? Does it have a color? And again, trusting the very first answer that you get, if you get any. If the very first color that enters your mind is red, then go with that. It doesn't have to be logical, because this is something is not part of the mind. We're now actually connecting with the body, and the body has a different way of communicating. So what color does this area of contraction, stiffness, pain, ache, what color does it have, if any? If no color comes into your awareness, don't worry. Then it might be colorless. Now let's ask, continue our curiosity and ask, what shape does this area have? Is it maybe a triangle or a, a circle? Or maybe it's jaggered? Or maybe it has the shape of a, a tree or an animal? Again, it does not have to be logical. Just go with whatever appears first into your awareness. Allowing yourself to come into intimacy with this part of the body that was calling your attention. We continue our curiosity asking, what size does this specific area have, this specific spot? or pain, or ache, or contraction, what size does it have? Is it large or small? Allowing the answer to come into your awareness and continuing, what temperature does this area of attention have? Is it maybe very hot or very cold or somewhere in between. Resisting the desire maybe to make sense of these answers and just trusting with this open awareness, this curiosity, whatever is coming up. And now we're going to ask this area what element is it connected to? Does it have more of an earthy feel or maybe more watery or fiery? Or maybe it feels like uh, the bark of a tree. What element does this, this, this contraction, this pain, this ache, this area in our body have? And as we continue to inquire from a place of open curiosity, of non-judgmental curiosity, we come more and more into intimacy with this spot. And you may actually start realizing that the feeling that it had before Maybe it was some really persistent ache that had been there for a while, or maybe it felt very distant and far away, and now it feels very close and clear. You might notice that this has changed. And even allowing that to just come into your awareness. Does this pain or this ache feel the same as when we started this exercise? And is it even still there right now? 
has it maybe moved? You started possibly with your attention being drawn to your belly and maybe now you feel something more in your right foot, for instance. Just noticing that the more we allow something to be seen, the more that we allow this going inside with our awareness, this investigation inside, the more a new world, a, a whole different ability to feel opens up to us, which then eventually leads to a much deeper connection with ourselves, a much deeper harmony within ourselves. And this is an exercise you can practice with anything. Even, for instance, you hit your toe and we all know that that can be super painful. In that moment when that pain is there, to see if you can bring your awareness inside and actually try and feel how this pain feels in your body. Does it have a color? Does it have a temperature? Does it have a shape? Does it have a size? And in that interoception, in that turning our awareness inside and noticing how that initial pain may change, how our perception towards that pain may change. So I invite you to see if you can practice this. Maybe when you're sitting in a bus or waiting in line, just to tune in, turn your awareness inside and see what's going on, what wants to be felt right now. And over time, you'll start noticing that a much deeper emotional intelligence starts appearing, a much deeper ability to actually feel. And from that place of feeling, to then make decisions in our lives on the outside. Wishing you a beautiful journey of introspection and intimacy with yourself.